Hello boys and girls! Welcome to Sunday School! I'm Callie and I'm so happy that you all are here with me. This is the last week that we're going to hear a story together for a while. Miss Courtney has been working on some really, really awesome stuff um, to share with you guys. She started a podcast and she'll have some other things coming out too. So this is our last time reading a story for a while, but I'm super excited for you all to um, start listening to the stuff that Courtney is providing and sharing it with your families. I've had a lot of fun reading stories with you all and I um, am excited for when we can do that again someday. All right, so as we're wrapping up today, who can remember the part of the Bible that we have been reading a book about? There's one special section of the Bible that has its a name. Can anyone remember what it is? It starts with a g, g, g. The gospel. Yeah, can you guys say gospel? Yeah, so we are reading a book about the gospel, and who can remember what the gospel is a story of? It's the story of one person in particular. Who is it? Jesus! The gospel is the story of Jesus' life on earth and why he came to earth and um, what that meant. So we've been talking about how um, Jesus was born, uh-huh, and then we talked about how Jesus grew to be the perfect man, the perfect man who never sinned and was able to perfectly obey God. We also talked about his sacrifice on the cross, you remember that Jesus died on the cross for us? Mm -hmm. And today we're going to talk about what happened after that. So let's see if any of you know what happened after Jesus died on the cross. Who can remember? Three days went by and then something very special happened. The resurrection. Yeah, three days later, Jesus was resurrected, destroying death once and for all. Jesus came back to life three days later, three days after dying on the cross, he was resurrected. Can you all say resurrection? Resurrection. Good. I think we talked about that last week. So what's next? Response. God commands all people everywhere to turn their back on sin and believe in Jesus alone for the forgiveness of sin. So God knows that we are all sinful people, that we, we are not like Jesus, who was the perfect person. We all disobey God. And so Jesus came and he died in our place so that we would be forgiven. So our response is to believe this. All we have to do is believe that Jesus died for us and that God is our savior, that Jesus is our savior. So we believe in Jesus alone for the forgiveness of sin. Yeah, what do you guys think that means? What does it mean to believe in Jesus? What are some things that we believe about Jesus? We believe that he's the son of God. We believe that he's good. We believe that God is a just God and a fair God. Those are some things that we believe. And we believe that Jesus died for us and that our sins are fully forgiven in him. That we're God's children, loved by him. Eternal life. Ooh, that's another big word. Eternal. Can you guys say eternal? Eternal life. Who knows what eternal means? Eternal means something that goes on and on and on forever. It means that it has no end. Can you guys imagine that? Something that never ends? 
Imagine if you went to school and it was eternal. You never left. You were always at school. Oh, that would be terrible. But maybe something that you might like that was eternal as if your favorite TV show was eternal. It would mean it never ended. It just went on and on and on. I bet you would get tired of even that. But God promises us eternal life by believing and believing in Jesus and, um, and trusting that Jesus died for our sins. We're given this gift of eternal life, which means that we have a never ending life with God. It's given to all who place their faith in Jesus. So God says that even after we die, if we believe in him, if we trust in him and our forgiveness in Jesus, then we go on to live eternal life with God in heaven. That is amazing. That is an amazing promise of God's forgiveness. Eternal life. Well, that brings us to the end of the story that we're reading together. And um, that is also the end of the gospel, the end of Jesus's life. So I hope that you guys had fun reading this story with me. I definitely had fun reading it with you. And if you want to go back and um, watch any of the videos that we have, uh, any of the parts of the story that we read in other weeks, then you can go back and look at those as many times as you'd like to, to hear the story again. All right, well, if you all will pray with me, we're gonna close by doing the Lord's Prayer together. You close your eyes, bow your head, put your hands together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. If you all would like to do the cross prayer with me, then um, you're welcome to do that now also. God in my head, God in my heart, God in all of me. Thanks for sharing this time with me, all of you. I have enjoyed reading your stories together and I hope that you all will check out what Pastor Courtney has in store for you. Have a great week, bye.